Hello, everyone. You know, I'm I'm doing a a video recording session right now. You know, <laughs> yes. And I'm on. What is the most offensive shirt? <laughs> offending everybody. You know, offending everybody. You know, he's gonna come with the offensive jokes. He's gonna come with the, the freaking over the top comedy. He gonna freaking make people want to pull their hair out. You know. But yeah, I'm I'm here to laugh. Hopefully. You have a sense of humor at all, you know, and you are going to get insulted and be offended also. So, yeah, guys, <laughs> if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe, you know, yeah, it really helps me out, you know, in the YouTube algorithm because I feel like I've been shadow banned for some reason because a channel of my size not getting the views that it should be getting or I probably don't understand my audi audience, you know, but it's probably that I don't understand my audience or I, what I want to make does not align with the audience that I've built. Most likely the latter. But yeah, guys, that aside, let's get these people is full. Attention! We all want attention. How do you get it when you're talentless? Simple, by wearing a provocative shirt. Not like the thick girl at the bar, all eyes are... Dang. The dude put freaking two balls behind her <laughs> to match the balls on her chest. Dang. On you. So if you want people approaching or avoiding you, then you're going to need a shirt that offends everybody. <laughs> Starting off with three things every guy likes. Is this, is this a freaking introduction for merch? Maybe. Doggy, doggy, and of course, doggy. <laughs> you like how our back is arched? That's attention detail, fellas. Imagine showing up to the funeral with this gem on, pissing off your uncle and making your cousin laugh. Makes you wish your aunt died sooner. Now, speaking of dogs, my next design is probably the most what? fucked up and true thing I've ever said, which is best part of a dog, they can never say no. <laughs> Yo, no, 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 lock this dude up. It's a joke, yes, it's a joke, yes, but Peter be waiting outside this dude's house right now. You know, Peter, the, the right, the animal protection um, people, the people that think that, 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 that give animals more rights than humans, you know, that will freaking protect an animal that is built to kill and eat you, built to end and eat you, <laughs> and freaking <laughs> end you. To protect it, you know, yeah. Look at his little face. The panic. The fear. Oh, it's going to be hard to call the cops when you don't have thumbs, am I right? Who hasn't looked what? at a corgi butt and said, no. damn. How could no. I resist your honor? I mean, look at it. Look at it. Besides, sometimes when a man gets lonely, and I mean real lonely, a dog can, um, fill the void. No, yo, this is so uncomfortable, bro. This is so disgusting. It makes my screen, skin crawl. It makes my skin crawl, bro. Catch my drift. All it takes is some peanut butter, a locked door, and patience. Let him come to you. The trick is making him want it. Now, what if your kink is making people suffer? Well, you'll love my next design. Think where your tongue is. Go ahead. Think about it. Can't stop moving it, right? Where was it before I mentioned it? Was it at the top or bottom? Or why can't I stop thinking about this? Well, now. <laughs> I get that, yo. I get that. Whenever you can people torture everyone overthink. with the subtle yet. When they overthink and think about things that they do not want to think about. Like, think about the fact that you blink involuntarily. And that you don't have to automatically place your tongue, your, place your tongue somewhere in your mouth. It just happens, bro. The, the, the freaking involuntary movements that humans do. And that people don't normally think about. The fact that you, you don't think about breathing. It's just natural. Get into people's heads, you know, yeah. <laughs> Tasteful day ruiner. Now, what if you're not a sociopath but still want people to stay away from you? Well, you'll love my next design. I don't wash my hands. <laughs> this is oh, that. Is that what I think it is? Maybe. Do you really want to get close enough to find out? <laughs> you know, I show this. I think that's not. I think that is snot. You know, you know, snot. Don't think about anything else. That is definitely freaking someone with a runny nose. Look like a gay Italian saying hello. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Which. <laughs> Which is not wrong. Although I always thought a gay Italian hello was having their gold chain tea bag. Yeah. Speaking of um, sticky stuff, my next shirt is probably the most relatable one. Called Eat Fap Game Repeat. 
<laughs> this one hit a little close to home for some of y'all. Let your homies know they're not alone. I mean, in the way they are, but at least you're sad together. You know what they say, misery loves company, and tears are natural lube. <laughs> Maybe I should have called this one shots fired. Now, if your teacher asks what fat means, just tell her you're in touch with your emotions. That way, you're technically not Dang. lying. Miss Sullivan, I'm not feeling well. Do you mind if I go pound out some sadness? Speaking of fapping, my next design is life begins at the bona. <laughs> times i had my editor draw the word boner i'm like it needs to look more like a dick at one point he gets fed up and just sends back a real life bbd saying this is what you're looking for right <laughs> no. oh you see this design speaks to me as i currently live in texas where imaginary friends tell people what laws to write and it does make you think where does life really begin because one could argue a imaginary friends tell people what laws to write yo 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 they tell yo they're getting on on the lawmakers in Texas, bro. Stiffy is the first sign of it. Meaning every time you spank it, technically you're committing an atrocity. That's not splooge in your trash can. It's boneless children. Speaking of child graves, God. We all know he loves giving kids cancer, but what really makes him hard is the forbidden. So get on your... Yo, do not... Yo, do not blaspheme right here, my friend. Bro. I know it's a joke. I know it's a joke. But yes, at the highlight, it's blasphemy, you know? Knees as I shower you with my next design. He has risen. <laughs> you don't go to hell if you don't believe in it, right? I'm pretty yeah. sure that's how it works. Do you like how the devil is looking at Jesus, making sure he's giving consent? Is this okay? Is this okay? Is this okay? Speaking of baby carrots, many guys feel like they're inadequate. Disgusting. Mostly because y'all watching too much corn. Corn is like the Olympics of porking, okay? Stop comparing yourself to freaks. That's where my next design comes in. <laughs> Six inches is average. <laughs> His face is so perfect. <laughs> oh, like it's average, right? It's embarrassing. <laughs> you look at it. He's ashamed of it. Look at that face. That literal that face literally says ashamed. And his little hand. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Average hand. Give you that thumbs up. Oh, really happy how this one came out. Now before I get to my last design, I want to tell you my favorite joke. This dude literally gets off on freaking making these type of offensive jokes. And he enjoys it. I think he really does. Though. He really does enjoy this juvenile humor. And I'm here for it. You know, I'm here for it because, um, yes, it's funny. It's funny. Yeah. What's the difference between Michael Phelps and the Hitman? Michael Phelps knows how to finish a race. And now it sounds horrible, but it really isn't. It doesn't say any race should be finished. It just says Michael Phelps knows how to finish one. You see, your own assumptions are what make it offensive. Which is the Yes, because Michael Phelps is a race he's a athlete you know and uh, you know the context uh, the context surrounding what 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 freaking hitler did you know because he tried to commit genocide you know so with all that contextual information you co arrive at the conclusion what the heck are why did he say this how the hell does his brain make up stuff like this you know same reaction people have when i show them my favorite t-shirt design friends <laughs> oh, it's so perfect because we're all thinking the same thing yet nothing in the picture is actually <laughs> offensive just a bunch of multicultural friends looking to have a good hard time actually i lied i have one more design well it's less of a design and more of a life mantra and that's any hole will do <laughs> No. What does that mean? No. It means whatever you want it to mean. It means, you know, when people have freaking perverse minds, you know, they have dirty minds. They have been damaged. They have been corrupted by the internet. They will instantly think deplorable things and out of the pocket things, bro. <laughs> they will instantly, they, they are not, they're not going to think nothing wholesome right there. So they are not thinking anything wholesome. They, no, 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 no. He, yo, I am a good Christian brother, I'm telling you. But even the good Christian brother will know that. <laughs> Once you've lived enough life and experienced enough life, you know. Yeah. But you have to de de, de decorrupt your mind, you know. You have, to de you have to sanitize your brain to not automatically think. <laughs> yeah, etchy stuff, you know. You're not, you know not a, don't, don't think like, yeah weird stuff you know there's a lot of holes out there some good some stinky we all yeah. have to decide which hole fits us best and with this shirt you can tell the world that any hole will do no so if you no no this dude man 
No. If you want to piss off your friends, family, or enemies, then pick up your shirt today at OffensiveSwag.com. That's right, at OffensiveSwag.com, you can mentally torture. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I called it. In the first few seconds of the video, I, uh, I called it. I called it. I freaking called it. Torture your school bully and live rent free in your crush's head, all while supporting your boy. Cause dark, twisted humor makes me hard, but censorship makes me flaccid. And I refuse to dial back any of my jokes because some snowflakes can't handle it. So if you want to support my crusade against the bland corporate circle jerk that is the rest of YouTube, then pick up your shirt today at offensiveswag.com, where every shirt is designed to turn heads and hopefully get your head. Oh, you know what you want? No, no. I hate how freaking creepy that freaking this subscribe this subscription prompt right here. This subscription prompt right here is so freaking creepy and this yeah. Yo. <laughs> so yo guys, um one one hundred percent W banger way to address to, to, to announce a freaking um merch line, you know. <laughs> yeah, even though it was predictable. Hey guys, <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, <laughs> links in the description, you know, links in the description, go check out the dude's channel. <laughs> if you haven't been offended yet, there is something on this channel that might offend you. And comments, honest comments in, <laughs> in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next one. You know, it's Wolf. Peace out. You take your mask. Let's get this. Let's get it. Yeah, you know, it's Wolf. <laughs>